Hello and welcome back to another Train Sim World 4 Samaring Barn scenario video. My name is LWD Adnan and today we're taking a look at Milkshake. 30 minute scenario, medium difficulty, wild weather, temporary speed restrictions and unwanted visitors are causing mayhem on the lines. Well, 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 doesn't that sound interesting? Now, from what I can tell, Milkshake, unwanted visitors, are we looking at potentially cows on the line? That would be interesting. I don't know why else Milkshake would be uh, would be a, a title that makes sense for this scenario. Uh, I've got no clue, by the way. Um, so let's see. Welcome to St. Egidin at Amsteinfeld. You're in a dry spot at the moment, but the weather is dreadful today. So take care when you reach the mountains. We're in a Taurus today as well, actually. I didn't even notice uh, what train we were driving. Last time we were in the, uh, the talent. Um, okay, so yeah, I think we are good to go. So let's head over to the uh, engine room. I guess you'd call this an engine room, right? Or just a back room in general. We'll find the PZB and C for switch and turn them back both on. I don't know what WTB remote control is, so I don't mess with that. Uh, I don't like to put myself in any uh, position of bother. We'll turn LZB as well, actually. I completely forgot this train's equipped with LZB, although I don't think it uh, runs on episode B on this route. Um, I don't think we touched anything here at all. We uh, head like that's fine. That's nice to see that set automatically for us. I think that's all good. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. We'll come here. Turn off AF. Turn on AFB. Sorry. AFB is something that I just seem to always like C4. There, there, there seems to be some sort of beef between myself and, and, and uh, AFB sometimes. Um, let's put the reverse our into neutral and then forward we've got a nice little start screen with a nice little audio as well set the train brake into running and apply powers get moving apparently and that should be simple as that let's see if it is so our brakes are still releasing you see with these yellow arrows still heading down and then the blue ones should replace them heading up and that should uh, manifest into us accelerating although of course right now they don't seem to be moving up put the throttle back down to zero and move the throttle back up again and there's still nothing so if I blame AFB we'll turn AFB off start moving there we go it's always AFB AFB is always the culprit we've got a little musical note acceleration Release ourselves from PZB. Right now, now that we're moving, I'm going to turn on AFB back on. Put a throttle back to zero. Activate it. Um, why can I never get this working? Why can I never get AFB to work, eh? I managed to get it working on release day. The day that the uh, DLC released, we, we played a little bit. And I managed to get it working then. Um, but there always seems to be one issue or another. Where's the AFB stick here? Right. So I'm going to put that on max. And then let's try that. So oh, I'm just going to have to use the keyboard bind for this one. We do have some wheel slip, so we'll turn the... We'll bring the throttle back down a little bit. I think SG is... Um, well, it can't be wheel slip, actually, because we're not accelerating that uh, that roughly. Right, AFB is on once again. To be honest, let me, let me turn this a little bit brighter because I can barely see anything. There we go. That's much better. Now... Yeah, not a, not an absolute clue. Oh, maybe because of uh, Russell's not on. No, nothing at all. There we go. Now, why did it work then? I can't. I could not tell you. I could not tell you why it works then, and it didn't work anywhere else. But it seems to be locked onto the correct speed, so uh, that's a good start. So we got double. We got double head up today. And it's a freight train. I actually didn't even know. I had no clue we were even holding freight. But we are holding freight. Um, so we'll try and take care of our... Um, whoa, it's really zoomed in. 
zoomed out sorry we'll try and take care of uh, our uh, braking as well brake nice and early when we can so i just realized uh this is going to be interesting because we're going to bump into some freight issues and we've got a hell of a load so let's see uh yeah let's see how it goes i guess obviously with the uh, second Taurus in tow that's going to provide us with enough help help and usually sometimes there'll be like a ptt button but there's none here it seems like so i'm going to trust that with the uh, second loco is powered and uh, backing us and also i now understand why we were having issues with uh, wheel slip It makes a whole lot more sense now. So this is the first time using the Taurus to haul uh, freight. I don't think we ran any freight services at all on the release stream. We ran a service with the Taurus, a service with the Talent, and then we ran a uh, the 47, the 47 uh, run, which is it was very peculiar. It's always going to be peculiar, peculiar seeing a, a BR tray, a BR loco in Austria in modern day and i think i would have liked to see the livery it's great that we have the run as it is um but i can't imagine it being too much extra work making it you know having the the real livery uh, making delivery for it so yeah it kind of sucks that we're left with just stock livery but hey at least it's there right i think it was last video that i said I think either last video or on the last stream that I did where I said that I thought like I think it was the last stream actually we were discussing Long Island Railroad 2 and um, I said that I think I feel like we're at a point where we should just be grateful when we get things because it's beyond now like nitpicking or you know trying to get things done quote unquote properly with train sim world so hey listen i'm content that we have the 47 there and <laughs> that will be it so we've got 4.2 miles to go i honestly still have absolutely no idea what to expect we're currently closing on our uh, current vmax of 160 kilometers or 99 miles per hour it's been a treat learning the kilometers per hour um translation i guess is a word conversion conversion for miles per hour playing uh playing train sim world playing sim role where you're a lot more likely to come against kilometers than miles still i mean there is still some improvements to be done but for a, a very basic uk and uk indian um i think i'm not too bad not doing too badly at all not doing too badly at all FIFA. I'm just missing out on C4. I mean, I, I, I can only it before the braking comes on at least, but I, I would rather do it before the uh, the voice comes on. And I much prefer this calm C4 than the, uh, the, uh, the beep of the 4024 that we were dealing with last session. To be fair, all of the uh, the PZB voices and... Oh, we are starting to get some rain now, so we'll get the wipers going on level one. Um, all the all the uh, voices of German trains are very scary, to be honest. I'd rather a calmer beep or something just something just calm, basically, because having uh, failing P's and then having uh, a man scream at you for well, however long it takes you to break, uh, it's not great. It's not a great experience at all. So having to brake a little hard, I did say earlier that I wanted to be careful with my braking and I have a feeling we might overdo the brakes a little bit but I'd rather overdo them than not brake enough and find myself in a pickle where we completely fail the, uh, the scenario and I have to start from scratch. Uh, so I'm going to release, I'm going to release completely, allow air to find its way back into the pipes. Well to be honest I have to slow back down once again because of uh, PZB. And I love the fact that AFB also adjusts. I absolutely loved it. I mentioned this last time during uh, release day when I, when I noticed it. And I'm seeing it again. I, it's now set itself to, to uh, 
80 kilometers, which is in line with PZB without me, you know, doing anything. And I absolutely love that. And I love the fact as well that it's like legit, legit because I've read before. Oh boy. I did not think we would come up. We would come up to the 500 hertz magnet so quickly. Um, was it paying attention? <laughs> but yeah, I read somewhere that in Germany, uh, the tendency for drivers is to stay five kilometers, five kilometers an hour below the uh, speed limit, just for safety reasons to ensure that. Um, to ensure that uh, safe keeping is in place basically you know they're remaining safe um, now we are going to have to wait for the air to clear from the wagons for the brakes from the wagons so we might be here for a little while which is a little bit annoying because you've only got 400 yards to come but I guess shame on me for <laughs> not being careful enough um, so we are going to wait for those wagons to clear uh, we do have power available so it's literally just a matter of waiting for the wagons to clear and sometimes as you go down the uh, the formation you can actually hear the brakes releasing um i assume these are bugs because it's the audio is almost as if the train's moving whereby it obviously is not moving um, so yeah that's a, that's a little bit interesting but uh, we'll just ignore that <laughs> we'll just ignore that apply a little bit more power and now we have started to move it really uh, restricts of course to 45 kilometers which obviously AFB has once again beautifully set us up for so we've only got just over four, or just under, sorry, 400 yards now until we get to the next stopping point. And I'm interested, interested to see why we're stopping. Whether it's just to give us an instruction or whether we actually do have some form of blockage ahead of us. Let's find out once we get there. Right, going to gently let it coast uh, towards the signal. Or towards the stopping marker. So I believe that voice, that whatever she's saying, is to let me know that uh, from this speed I can unlock the doors. That was thanks to Nabil. That little bit of knowledge there. Right, I want to slow down carefully and gently, but not too carefully and not too gently. Before we very gently end up uh, passing the signal at danger. We are a little bit past the stop marker anyway. Hi driver, I've stopped you as a farmer has reported some escaped cows near your location. Continue slowly when cleared and be prepared to stop. So, we were right, I guess. I mean, realistically, what else could it have been if you're titling the scenario milkshake? Um... This reminds me of that East Coast Mainline scenario where we had the exact same situation where a farmer had his cows go out onto the track and we had to stop on the track with the cows and help for some reason uh, the farmer sort his cows out. Which, going back to what I was talking about last video with regards to scenarios, I'm glad to see that we actually got to see the cows on the tracks, you know? <laughs> Much better than having to imagine it ourselves. So I don't know what they mean by um, continue slowly because the next stop location is at three miles. So is that where we're going to see the cows or am I going to see the cows between now and three miles? I think I'm going to take the risk and I guess we're going to find out. And I mean, I don't think this game enables any sort of violence. I don't think we'll actually do any damage to any animals. Um, but I'm really hoping we don't encounter the cows on the way here i'll try and i'll see what i can spot in the distance i don't want to keep zooming in we could we can zoom in a fair bit to be fair uh with the god mode mod but i mean look at that that's absolutely ridiculous um but FIFA. let's try and do it somewhat realistically right i don't know if I, mean, I don't know if you can find a pair of binoculars in a train to be fair 
if you can, fair play. But uh, as far as I'm aware, it's not really a thing. Unless you were to bring them on board yourself. I love the wear, by the way, of the... Uh... What? Are th I don't know what these would be. Honestly, handles, but they're very weird. Like, it's a weird place for a handle, really, isn't it? But I, wherever it is, I really like the fact that there's wear. Some wear and tear there. Uh, I don't know what that horn was. That was a bee. I don't know what that was. What that's meant to signal. Was that the train? Are the cows here? I can't see any cows. This train is moving as well. Honestly, you're not sure what that, what that little beep was. The headlights are very yellow. Very, very yellow. I do have a mod, to be fair, though. I do have a mod for that. So I wonder if that's just uh, the mod in action. And that is actually quite realistic. That is sort of the uh, the path of the mods. They do tend to go towards realism. So I would trust that uh, that indeed replicates or tries to replicate reality better than what we get by default. So two miles to go. We've already gone. We've already hit a mile down. It's not too bad at all. Doing pretty well for time. It's not it's not, it's not the uh, longest of scenarios. Um, so I'm not expecting too much. I assume we're going to help the farmer out of his cows and probably get moving to the next stopping point. And uh, that'll be that. So far, so good, though. It does seem that we'll encounter the cows at that stop location rather than on our way there. So 100 kilometers is our... Um, you know what? They were here's the cows. Motor opportunity. So I guess they were on the way to the next stopping point. Thank God that they went on the tracks because, uh, yeah, I could have been awkward. Would have also been nice to somehow have at least one of these characters acknowledge that you know there's a whole train coming. Uh, I mean, it's a hell of a train you know really close to the cows so yeah it would have been nice to have some uh he's relaxing this old chap would have been nice to have some sort of um i don't know uh some sense of urgency one way or another but uh how's this for a thumbnail these two cows right or should i get right it's a, it's a little bit artistic really isn't it and then we focus on the cow itself let's see Push it up to here, right? And then get this down to there. And then... Yeah, how about that? Can I blow the train? I can't blow the train, though. I can only blow the cow. Well, nonetheless, um, I think this will do... I think it's just a decent thumbnail. We'll just do that to get the train... Okay, hold on a second. How about we go from this angle here? No, nah, 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 nah. I think we had, I think, I think we had it just right. There, you go. that'll do. I think. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I feel like, I feel that's a little bit. I could have done better, but we'll, uh, we'll take that. I mean, listen. It kind of show, it, it basically tells you the story, right? There's some cows, there's a farmer, and uh, a train. There you go. What more do you need to know, right? Without, it be, without being too clickbaity, without making it look like the train's, you know, about to hit the cow, or or, or, or a splat cow has been hit by a train. We're just keeping it nice and honest and PG. And that's it, really. We can't ask for more, surely. Right, surely you got to acknowledge this. Yes, sir. We are still good. I think the train had a little bit of a panic moment there, but uh, we're continuing on. So it should just be smooth, really, from here on, right? I mean, dispatch did tell us at the very beginning that the weather was going to get a bit chaotic, but so far, I mean, a bit of rain, some cows, not too bad. I mean, the cows you don't see every day, fair enough, but uh, yeah, the rain's not too bad. We are approaching the red signal quite quickly gonna let off the throttle and let it close for a bit and then start hitting the brakes probably level notch two 
Well, not three technically, because you've got one A, one B, and then two. Uh, maybe a little bit harder. I don't want to get tripped by the 500 hertz magnet, which I am looking out for. And I am hoping we slow down enough before we get to. Clear C fob before it starts uh, selling us. Uh, so we're good for now. I think this might be the 500 hertz magnet here. I would assume so. I don't know why PZB is automatically just gone. No? I don't know if PZB is gone. I mean, we are approaching a red signal, so I should be uh, on 500 hertz restriction right now, but uh, I'm just not on any restriction. I also wonder if this is it for the scenario. How long have we been on for? I don't feel like we've been running this for, for, for a very long. I don't remember what time we started. Could have uh, could have checked on the top left. It's 4.07 currently in game. Once again, we don't want to put in too gently. Oh. That should be all right. Not perfect in terms of the stopping marker, but pretty good for the signal itself. Got the little uh, melody there we've thrown down. Thanks, driver. Clearing you back to line speed now. All right, so I assume we just continue then uh, at a line speed. Wait for the brakes to go down. And we continue on. Let's go. So I wonder if my little issue with AFB was just because we hadn't hit a particular section of track yet. Because it, it does just seem tied down to the like speed limit. So I wonder if it's a thing where you sort of just have to get moving first for a little while. Maybe give it a minute or two and then apply um, AFB and turn it on. I mean, we're already, we already going, on, going further for a mile, uh, which isn't much. She's been doing, she's done a pretty good job, I think. Taurus is a hell of a workhorse, to be honest. In real life, of course, as well as in the uh, in game. Needs a little bit of scenery here. I'm lacking these uh, these models, these assets. Picking up a little bit of speed now. Don't want to pick up too much speed though. We are going to have to slow down in less than a mile. Hopefully we're able to continue on a little bit further. A little heavy on the brakes just to bring it under 30 miles an hour. And then we'll release. Keep it on 1A. Oh, we can really see completely, actually. We are on a gradient now. Quite a decent gradient, actually. A 0.8% gradient. I think a lot of people use ratios to d d determine their gradients. I've never used ra ratios and could not tell you for the life of me how they convert to percentages. So if you're someone who uses ratios for gradients um, and are a little bit perplexed for what you're seeing with the percentage, um, the exact same way the other way around. So, uh, sorry. Um. I feel like we're not, we're not putting any power right now. And I'm not quite sure why. Um, these are in yellow, meaning if anything, the brakes are on. Uh, I'm not really sure why. And now we're on a, uh, a 27 mile an hour restriction. I guess I'll apply the brakes and I turn it back on and see if that does anything. I don't think I messed up anywhere. Right, they've released now. I don't know what that was about. Did I just not release the brakes properly? I was pretty sure I had. I was pretty sure I had. But fortunately, uh, we've got enough power that we're not stuck rolling down. Because we are almost on a 1% now, which is 
you usually you'll be able to feel it uh, quite a bit with the physics on here. No wheel spin, no uh, wheel slip as well. Which, uh, considering I'm on 60% throttle uh, from only 10 miles an hour, is actually pretty good. All right, I've got about 300 yards left to go. So we're not going to be doing too much. Thank you for the reminder, miss. What do I name this? What should we call her? C for Samantha. How about that? C for Sam. Alright, there's the red signal in view now. 100 yards according to the object, uh, distance marker. I'm going to start applying some braking. Oh, I need to apply a lot more than I thought I did. Yeah, I'm a little bit too careful, which is quite ironic considering how I usually drive live. <laughs> but uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Hello, driver. Sorry to stop you again. I'm going to reduce the line speed due to the weather. We have had reports of falling rocks, so keep an eye out. Uh, right. More activity. Okay. Okay. I was really worried that it was just going to be the, the cows and that was going to be it. But we, we do have a little more activity. Brakes are off. Let's get going. Bearing in mind that the brakes are going to have to release all the way down the train as well. So I'm expecting instant movement. Although we are moving quicker than I would expect from any other train. Very well. Right, so we've got 2.8 miles till our next stop. Well, allegedly 2.8 miles, if you remember what we were talking about last in, last scenario, whereby because this route is twisty and whirly and everything within, um, the distance mark, the distance distance thing to the next objective marker, to the next stop marker, is very very off because it is determined by as the crow flies, rather than by route. Uh, sorry, by track. Uh, distance, which is rather unfortunate. Uh, where's the AFB now? It's all the way on 125 or 130 kilometers, and it seems that I cannot. Uh... Oh, I can control it! Isn't that something? 55 kilometers, I think, more or less, is that sweet spot. So I guess because we're on, we're under certain instruction now. The AFB is now in manual control. There doesn't seem to be anywhere that I can change that. It completely seems to be uh, the train that decides whether AFB is controlled by myself or by the train by the train itself. Um, but I'm cool with that. I don't mind. Makes my life a lot easier. And now it's just a matter, really, realistically, of figuring out the correct way of um, utilizing it. But again, I think my method of driving the train manually for a minute or two and then turning on AFB is at least a decent starting point, if not pretty much bang on. But that remains to be seen. Unfortunately, I think we only have like two out of the five scenarios that have the Taurus. Could be three, but I think it's only two. Um, I just remember looking at the list of scenarios on release day and being a little bit disappointed. A lot of them utilize the 4024, which, yes, fair enough, features quite a lot on this route. But it's a train that we've had on several other routes before. And, you know, we, we had, Dove Cell had the chance to make, to give them their own scenarios, right? I think the Taurus is quite a special train in that a lot of people were looking forward to it. And it's quite, a, you know, a, a substantial loco add on realistically into the game with how uh, how prevalent it is on the Austrian-German railways. Um, I think it definitely deserved a bit more limelight, in my opinion. So, yeah, a little bit let down by the fact that there's only two scenarios with the Taurus. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of gameplay in terms of the timetable, right? Plenty that we can do ourselves with the scenario creator and everything of the sort. So, And also... We're starting to see a lot more timetable mods come into play. There was a recently released Brighton one, which I'm looking forward to. There's a current uh, five circle timetable, which is a work in progress, and that's looking tasty. 
from the little I've seen of it. So we are taking it quite slowly in terms of improving the game kind of like by ourselves as as consumers as players of the game but we're moving things are starting to move now things are getting there we can't we can't rely and i think we've known this for a while now but we can't fully rely on dovetail look at tracing classic um it wasn't because of dovetail <laughs> realistically that that game has lasted as long as it has um it's down to the work of the community and third parties and i think if not for the community and third parties TSW wouldn't last Seems as long well. as it probably will be lasting. But of course that remains to be seen. This is all speculation and guesswork kind of assumption. So yeah. I guess it remains to be seen. Also, I am hitting any yellow signal I see. Um I'm hitting the acknowledge button, whether it's needed or not. I know I have the PZB helper there, but that's let me down sometimes because I've passed I remember passing a signal and thinking to myself surely i had to acknowledge that right but the help is not telling me to acknowledge it so i uh, should be good and then shock Cifa. horror Cifa. i get a uh, yeah. i get an emergency break application for not acknowledging that signal so ever since then i still do things manually i have the helper there to just sort of remind me of certain things i guess um like the release function i probably would need something to help me remember that i can release myself from pzb restrictions at certain times um, but other than that I just take it I do it pretty manually and like I said as long as there's a yellow somewhere in the signal lights I'm, I'm hitting that and playing it safe you're not going to lose anything playing it super safe but taking those risks with PZB you are going to lose a lot of time if it goes wrong so yeah I'll play the safe bet thank you very much Right, coming up to our next stop location. Now, I got a little feeling that this is the end of the line. I think that station, uh, this station is the end from what I remember. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty certain uh, that's that. I didn't see any rocks, actually. I didn't even look out for I didn't really look out for any of them, but I didn't see them. Uh, they weren't particularly eye-catching if they were close to the track. They definitely went on the track. But the simulation, the immersion could have just been that we, we, we would have been looking out, right? Which is what you do in real life if you heard that uh, <laughs> there's a uh, a potential of rocks near or on the track. Apply a tiny bit of throttle just to keep us moving towards the stop marker. I also realized on the screen to the right, it does show our AFB speed, uh, which I didn't notice before. We do have someone here on the platform, so I guess that's going to involve talking to them. Once we eventually come to a stop, which we could, we can do that now. Jesus Christ! It's just, just it's just continuing on. Right. Speak to the station staff to find out about the disruption. Let's do that then. Let's exit through here. Close that door. Where's the door here? It's right over here. Hello, mate. What are you telling me there? You heard that too, huh? The staff at Coop have phoned to say the line is blocked up ahead. I don't think anyone will be moving anytime soon. I didn't hear that, by the way. Thanks for letting me know. What a day. It's not safe to continue, so let's see how you did. Sorry, ladies and gents. You're waiting for your passenger service, and you've got a hell of a freight formation here uh, blocking the line, but what can we do? I probably should have been rooted elsewhere, you know. Probably the middle track, realistically. Um, but they have rooted us here. And we've got gold. Why did we get a gold and not a platinum? What's that all about then? I thought we did a pretty decent job of stopping. Well, pretty decent job is very debatable and subjective. I will <laughs> have that there as a disclaimer. But uh, yeah, I think that was an okay scenario. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. It didn't stick out to me as like bad. Uh, didn't stick out to me as like excellent. Obviously, the cows and that were a nice touch. We were able to grab a little picture and the potential of rocks as well the danger of them being on the track i guess was a bit dramatic i guess <laughs> if i'm gonna you know try and uh, try and complement it but uh yeah overall that's a decent use of my time i think decent 31 minutes and 44 seconds 
Um, let me know how you guys found it. Did you guys enjoy the scenario? Would you have preferred something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more action paced? Do let me know in the comments and do leave a like and subscribe if you've liked what you've seen. I will leave you guys here. Feel free to join us on the live streams. We stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Sometimes we do stretch that uh, end time a little bit further so you could have some more time, you know, with the community. Um, and yeah, do consider joining the Discord as well. Speaking about community, the link is in the description. But for now, I will let you enjoy the rest of your day. Please stay safe, look after one another and I will catch you on the next one. Take care and peace.